This here's Homer the Homesteader. This here's going to be my tropical plant question section. As uh, you might have learned from listening to Homer, a few of his videos if you've watched, and if you don't, if you haven't, then you're about ready to learn. Homer lives down in Texas, and it's kind of warm. I live near Austin in a city called Bastrop, or at least on the outskirts of a little town called Bastrop. So I've had the advantages of growing some tropical plants or at least some zone eight, nine, and you know, with a little protection zone 10 plants here. And one that's always interested Homer has been pineapples. And he loves grapefruits. Now, Homer's getting ready to move up to Michigan and we do plan put in a greenhouse. And so I'm hoping that these uh, starts I got here can translate into long-term growth that I might actually get some more fruit off or at least let this fruit develop. But first I wanted to get some input. I've got a grapefruit tree. I started from seed. I'd run across a grapefruit tree growing in Austin, Texas and I saw the grapefruits on it. Uh, and so I figured it'd grow here this before I decided to move back to Michigan and buy a farm there. So as you can see, I planted it in. I told you just a couple times I'm crazy with my seeds and trying different things. I planted in here with my pineapple. But in the last couple days, something had been eating the leaves. And I'm wondering if you all got any input on what might eat grapefruit leaves, tree leaves, and the like. I'm looking for some organic ways to do my farming and uh, <clears throat> I know it sounds a little odd but grow in my greenhouse organically and naturally uh, when I get up there to Michigan so I'm wondering if you could help me out with any ideas on one what might eat grapefruit leaves grapefruit tree leaves like this two if you have any planting ideas well excuse me two Got some organic way to help uh, discourage them from eating my grapefruit tree leaves. You can see they're a little bit better down there at the bottom. And also, three, any ideas on uh, transplanting these? I had to pull them apart from the grapefruit tree goes down in here to the pineapple. As you can see, my pineapple plants got hit but anyway transplanting them getting them going in the greenhouse and my pineapple plants I've been keeping these in the house in the winter covering them up uh, this last winter I got hit with a little frost and it took the top off but they got pineapples coming on and I have been trying to grow pineapples for years you know where you lop the tops off just before you eat them I love fresh pineapple and I got some finally putting on fruits. This one, this one here, uh, you can see the uh, main part of the plant got hit with the frost here and kind of keeled over, lost the leaves on the top. You can still see some spotting from the, where I got it hit with frost cause I didn't get it covered up good enough. But it has a pineapple fruit coming on that's even outgrew the parent plant. So it could be, I wanna, when I get up to Michigan, get these in a greenhouse. You got some thoughts on transplanting them, some ideas about making greenhouses big enough uh, to grow a grapefruit tree. And uh, any ideas on keeping it warm? We're kinda considering uh, where you put down in the dirt some different pipes and stuff to recirculate the air through uh, and also some ideas on fans that take the heat out of the top of the greenhouse put it through pipes down in the ground during the day maybe even a pond or water tank to hold that heat in and then let that heat dissipate during the night on those cold Michigan winter nights but anyway, this here's my start on tropical fruit section. 
for a greenhouse up in Michigan. Loves me some tropical fruit. And uh, also, I'd like your help on what might eat a grapefruit tree leaves like this. And then any organic ideas on how to help uh, discourage whatever it is for me, my grapefruit tree leaves. Anyway, it's been Homer the Homesteader. And Homer wants to know some organic ways to discourage a uh, insects from eating that their grapefruit tree leaves. Homer wants to know what it might be eating his grapefruit tree leaves. Homer wants to know any ideas you got on greenhouse construction that will keep the plants nice and warm in the cold Michigan winters. Uh, without using too much electricity or burning too many fuels uh, just to help supplement the, what's needed to keep it above freezing and grow some tropical fruits. That's all you lack of update on property.